Hi, I'm Tony Caridi here at the Avid Booth at Winter Nam 2011. I'm here with Taiho Yamada, who's the uh, product manager for a brand new uh, hardware synthesizer called Venom. Now, tell us what I'm sure a lot of people are going to be surprised to hear that a company like Avid uh, uh, created a product, uh, a hardware synthesizer like Venom. What drove us to this, and what's special about this product? Well. Um it's really the, the right combination of people coming together to um, be able to produce this, this keyboard. You know, we've been a leader in controllers for you know, many years now. Uh, and we have the Air Group that designs all these great synthesizers and plugins. And then we had um, you know, a bunch of uh, uh, really great engineers come on, like um, you know, Jim Swanson from uh, Oberheim and um, Peter Maresh from Alesis, and I, I worked with him as well uh, the, at Alesis before. Um, and um, this guy named Andreas Tofarn, who also worked with Radical, um, uh, doing boutique synthesizers. So a lot of um, people came together. And I, I don't know how much you know about my background, but I came from Alesis as well, where um, I worked on pretty much every synthesizer that they did. And so we had this opportunity to um, bring all this knowledge together and create something that um, is a virtual virtual analog synthesizer, but sounds different from uh, the ones that are out there already. It's a little bit edgier and you know uh, a little bit more punchy and you know big sounding. Uh, it's like a you know big American muscle car. Um, there are plenty of virtual analog synths out there, like uh, the Virus and um, you know the Blofeld and things like that. They're very great synths in their own right, but I, they're you know maybe a little bit more polished than you know what I thought would give Venom character. Um, it's got a lot of grit and a lot of you know bite and teeth and um, you know I, I hope that people agree that it sounds good. Well, awesome. Well, I'm sure they will. I've heard uh, everything I've heard at the show floor so far. People are really blown away by the sound of this thing. We've also, as I understand, we've had some um, we've worked with some VIPs. Um, in the development of this, and we've got some pretty good feedback. Um, uh, for instance, I hear the Crystal Method is using this, and they're really blown away. Can you give us any maybe further detail on that? Well, I, I was I was lucky enough to head out to the Crystal Method studio um, and got to see you know all the synthesizers that they had, and they had you know a bunch of things that I love as well, and so that uh, that made me feel better about heading over to you know meet these big stars, and uh, they. Um, they loved the synth right away. They started, you know, tweaking the top panel and twisting knobs and playing riffs. And uh, you know, I never thought that turning a knob would have a particular feel. You know, the way like a filter opens or closes. But when Scott was twisting the knob, it sounded like the Crystal Method. And it has a certain way of, of you know, change, modulating the parameters. Uh, well, we also went out to um, Mutato. Uh, Mark Mothersbaugh's uh, studio, right? You know, lately he's done a lot of soundtrack work, but he's probably you know best known as one of the founding members of Devo, and to have him you know play on Venom and get inspired and start coming up with you know chord progressions right away was you know, so gratifying. It was it was uh, you know seeing somebody get inspired by an in, uh, instrument like that was uh, pretty amazing. Well, that's awesome. That must feel great. I want to congratulate you for a, a fantastic uh, product. And um, also want to let everybody know out there to uh, go to mAudio.com forward slash something wicked. You can sign up for a chance to win one of these beautiful new Venom synthesizers. So, um, Taiho, thanks so much for uh, speaking with us. And uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you online.